I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, came to Denver in 1977. Uh, only one year graduated from Gateway High School, became a police officer in 1981. Originally with um, small agencies and joined the Denver Police Department in 1987. I um, played baseball, golf, I like to get out and um, enjoy myself. Family, married, have children, they've all graduated proudly from college and going on with their lives. I'm excited about this new piece of a chapter in my career where I, I was appointed to Commander of District 5, which is the Northeast Quadrant of Denver. Interesting, growing up in Brooklyn and the projects, um, we would have neighborhood police officers walk through, the, walk through the projects. As a young boy, I would um, always laugh and joke with the police officer, Officer Winston, can never forget the guy. And we created a relationship where we would talk and laugh and joke, and I always seen him as a friend. As I thought that was a really good relationship. When I got old, I learned what a police officer was and what the responsibilities of an officer, and I said, I want to do that. Um, the day I turned 21 was the day I started my law enforcement career. Um, 32 years later, here I am. Well, I moved to, moved to Colorado in 19, well, 1977. And um, families, my mother says, you know, um, New York is getting a little too rough for a boy, so we all came out here where my uncle lived and Colorado was a nicer community to live in. Um, when I uh, became a police officer, originally it was in a small city, Denver offered a lot more of a challenge and offers a lot more diversity in assignment and diversity in, in people and diversity of, of cultures. So I thought that was an opportune time or opportunity for me to explore the things I like to do the best, and that's hang with people. Policing has many challenges, but one of the challenges I take internally is how to restore public trust. I think it's so easy to, dis it's so fragile, and it's so easy to diminishing public trust. We get paid to do things right, but we also get paid to do them the right way. I think it's one thing to want to do the right thing, but you got to do the right way. That's, that's where the challenge comes in when you talk about split-second decisions, you talk about remembering laws, and remembering policy, and you're talking about um, what you do not only affects you and others, but it has long-term effects on the image of the organization. The challenge is to maintain that image to be a positive image, have people trust us externally and internal trust within the organization. I think that's where leadership comes in. I think that's where putting people in, or leaders in key positions in the organization will help build those public trusts. And that's a challenge that Chief White is out to, um, to demonstrate and, and same with the leadership team he's put together. First, is, yeah, I got to look back up. I, um, I worked District 5 maybe 20 years ago and it's interesting, the streets are the same but now there's a lot of stuff on those streets. My first challenge in District 5 is starting is to re-meet the community, reconnect with the different communities, the, the growing community. Um, I'm talking about people with legitimate power and people with grassroots power, people who make things happen. At the same time, to connect with the Peoria Corridor, the Tower Road Corridor, the business districts, that's, that's a huge challenge. I think that's, the, and that's how you continue to build public trust, but you also, you have to bring your ears to those challenges. You have to listen to what's being said. I'm excited about that challenge in regards to my, to how we affect the community. I surrounded myself with a good leadership team of lieutenants and, and sergeants, and I rely on those, those officers to help me lead the organization, help me listen to what our communities are saying, help me um, provide the tools and the resources for my officers to provide the service that we, um, that we say we will do. I also want the feedback from both sides, from my organization, from my leadership team, from um, uh, my communities, of what are we doing, is it being effective. Um, I'm excited about those challenges because this is a job that comes with no instructions. This is a job that you have proven through the years of, you, of, of experience, the years of, of learning new processes, understanding how to manage, understanding how to lead, and now you have to put those theories in effect and, and make them work. What you'll find, I'm very flexible, very fair. I love people, I love to get out, and um, I spend most of my time walking through the community whether I'm just walking through the store. I really enjoy those real human contacts with folks because that's the time to create those bonds, those trusts. That's the time to develop a, who, what's the Denver Police Officer made of? What are they really like? Is it like we see on TV? Or is it like the image I learned as a child? Who is Les Perry and who does he represent? So I, um, I want people to know that I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm always available. 
I, you can contact me any time of the day and I will listen to, and then at the same time I'll offer some advice, some opinions or resources, whatever the challenge may be.